previously on the rap game. One, two, three. These kids showed me what they got on the dance floor. Man, I gotta dance. I'm gonna fail. Super Peach and Lil Nico's hard work took them to the top of the hit list. Super Peach. Team Super Peach, everything peachy all day. But Lil Poopy not paying attention. What the <laughs> Landed him in number five. Halfway through the competition, things between the parents are starting to get whack. Not everybody can do it. Because Would you, you can do that, though? Because you can hand me a Band-Aid does not mean you're a point, doctor. I don't like her. I don't like Nikki. I was going That's to it. the bathroom. I'm sorry, I don't have nothing to say to you. This ain't no game. This is the rap game. Rap games right here. Rap games. <laughs> rap games. Are we in the same way? Everybody's going for Super Peach. I am number one again. Super Peach. You're not even smiling. Is, is something wrong with you today? Oh, no, I didn't know. I, I knew I was going to be number one today. If I was you, man, I wouldn't go to sleep. I would love for y'all to come for me. Come for me. At this point, I'm super annoyed with Super Peach's attitude. She's very cocky. And it's not even her. I don't blame her. I think it's all in management. If you ain't coming for me, I'm going to stay at the top. And I am. You ain't staying at the top. Yeah. I don't know. You can respect her to check it, because you ain't going right. to check it. So you stay over there. <laughs> They're so annoying. It just shows me something about the team that they are. But I'm not worried about nothing. Miss Mulatto's gonna get herself to the number one spot. She's trained, she knows what to do. You know, she's here to win. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling like Mulatto. You know, your work ethic is the same as anybody in the business, you know what I mean? I already know what it is, but I'm just saying, we're here to show JD that you're the best, you know what I mean? My dad is clearly the best manager in the house. But, I mean, my dad is my dad at the end of the day. And I'm sacrificing my childhood for my family. My mom was pregnant with me when she was 15 years old. She went to a majority white school. So, of course, you know, her being 15 years old pregnant and then being pregnant by a black man, that was just too much. People told her that she needs to get an abortion. You know, people was not rocking with that. But she sacrificed her childhood for me, so I'm going to sacrifice mine for her. We're going to be number one. That's it. That's a wrap. What are you taking? I don't know. You sad I'm leaving? Yeah. You'll be all right here with your dad. You're in good hands. Last week, Lyric was number four on the hit list. We're halfway through this process, and we have not been first place. A lot of people have said that they feel like she's shy or a little withdrawn. So I think Lyric's missing Mitchell, her dad. He's more hands-on with the music with Lyric because of his background as being a rapper. Mitchell and I are going to make the swap. You got your turn-up partner coming? <laughs> so you know, y'all should be able to turn up together, right? Right. I do a lot of my music stuff with my dad. But my mom is very sweet and helpful, and she's always there for me. I mean, she's put her job just to be here. My whole family is giving up so much, so nobody here is as hungry as I am for this contract. You gonna cry? No, I'm not gonna cry. I am a strong black woman. <laughs> not cry. Poopy, you feel like you're working hard for it? Yeah. You think you need to work harder? Yes. It's always room to work you gotta, harder. You got to work harder every day. I'm the underdog. Everybody underestimates me because I came from nothing, from Brockton. Growing up in a tough neighborhood, music keeps me occupied. It keeps me out of trouble. I'm very serious about this because I'm trying to get my family out of that city into a better neighborhood, and I'm hoping to make it to the top. You two are the underdogs here. You guys are the ones that everybody's worried about because you know why? Poopy, you was number one. You was number one twice. They didn't mean they're the top dogs year old then. kids is getting beat by the 12-year-olds. We're past halfway through this competition, then there's just a lot of stress when it comes to the other parents in the house. If you're saying you manage this person, that person, if you have so much experience, then you should be every week. What y'all talking about? Yeah, I'm being nosy. About who Nobody wants you guys here. They don't, because we all, because when we, we the younger people, they don't want to see us win. Since you're younger, that doesn't mean you do least or feel like, oh, that's my excuse, I'm 12, or well, you Nah, you, you got to go harder that's just it. because of that. Nothing in life is handed to you. That's why at the age y'all at, y'all just got to work 10 times harder. 
Uh, I think what makes me a better artist is that I appreciate this opportunity. Having health problems and health struggles or whatever when I was younger, you want to just succeed so much more because so many people doubted you. I'm here to cheer Poopy, so nobody in my eyes is going to be better than Poopy. Mm -hmm. Last week on the hit list, I was at number two, but I'm going to keep doing what I got to do, man, to put myself in that number one spot. And this can change my life and everybody around me, so this is huge for me. I don't know about y'all, but y'all better come with your A-game this week. Come on, y'all! Come on, we gotta go! Cox, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yo, what's happening, man? All right, so this week's assignment is about creative collaborating. I have my creative collaborator with me, B. Cox. He and I have collaborated on some of the biggest names in the industry. I'm talking about Usher, Mariah Carey, Bow Wow, and he's here with me to explain to you what's happening this week. Collaboration could either launch an artist or, 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 or tank an artist. Jermaine's first single and solo album was a Jay-Z, JD collaboration. Um, in most cases, the artists end up blowing up off of collaboration. You know, two heads are better than one, so the whole concept is basically, you know, working together. Over the last few weeks, I've tested these kids on writing, style, and dance. This week, is all about collaboration. Rihanna featuring Eminem, Jay-Z featuring Kanye. Putting creative forces together can create some of the biggest hits in the music industry. So this week, I want to see how these kids do if they have to work together. That's what Collaborators is. So today, I'm going to split y'all into two groups so y'all can collaborate on one song. And tomorrow, I'm going to have you perform for me, B. Cox, and Jenny to see if you're ready. Because we have a huge performance later this week. Parents, listen, this is your week to help produce your children. If you usually help your kids with lyrics, choreography, or style, please do it. Whatever y'all got to do to win, I don't care, and this is the week that y'all get a chance, the opportunity to do that. Just remember, you all have to work together on this. This will be the first time that I allow the parents to be completely hands-on with the performance. Whichever artist I sign is gonna probably work with some of the biggest names in the business, and I need to know how their manager can collaborate, too. If they don't know what they're doing and can't work with others, there's no way I'm sending them out talking about they represent So So Death. Y'all wanna know what the groups are? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Me and little Nico's mom are the only two real managers. So I wouldn't mind collaborating with Nikki as a manager or, or on a song. I would never collaborate with um, Louis or Precious Peach on any kind of manager, anything, nothing. Like work-wise, hell no. Team number one. Let me pray it's first. It's gonna be Miss Mulatto, Lil Poopy, and Super Peach, and the family. Yeah, shake your hands or something. Act like y'all <laughs> I will never collaborate with Shane by choice. Well, if Jermaine says I have to, then I have to. Super Peach, she knows how to perform. Miss Mulatto, she can write the song. And Poopy, the girls love him. So that could be a bomb for a collaboration. Team two is Lil Nico and Young Lyric and the family. Lyric, from what I've seen on her online content, it seems like she really knows how to perform. And I put that with my man Lil Nico and his energy, and I believe they gonna have a dope collaboration. I just know y'all better come with it. That's all I'm saying. No, y'all better, better come, come with it. Hey, look, nah, nah, nah. y'all better come with it. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. It's a competition okay, pick, man. All right, so look, you've been judged in writing your own lyrics. You've been judged in choreography. You've been judged in style, right? So I expect y'all to add those three things into this performance. I think going up against Miss Mulatto, Lil Poopy, and Super Peach might just hurt some feelings, but they don't stand a chance. Y'all got 12 hours. Now I'm gonna send y'all home with a couple of beats to choose from. Strategize, figure it out. You good? Yeah. yeah. Great. I like it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. It's important that artists know how to work with other artists, especially in a rap game, because it happens all the time. You got to know how to best feature each voice so they can all come together and make a dope-ass track. It's rap game. It's rap game, bro. Hey, <laughs> <that. laughs>I'm Lyric's full-time manager. I had Olivia filling in for me at the start of this opportunity because I was away on business. Uh, as soon as we got that squared away, I was able to switch out with Olivia and get back to work. This is where the kids pretty much hang out in hey, here. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm a little nervous about working with Mitchell this week. Some people come in huffed up, puffed up, and think they're running things, and that's not going to work with me. 
That's what y'all been doing every day in here, man. I feel kind of sad, because I'm going to miss my mom. My dad is my secret weapon. He helps me with my music, so I'm glad for him to be here. At the end of the day, this is a rap competition, and I think, you know, we're halfway through, and it's probably getting ready to turn up on the rap stuff. But you know, I can't help her. I mean, if it's a rap competition, we got it, man. I'm not worried about it. That's hands down. That belongs to us. My daughter's career is on the line, so I'm really trying to focus on just pushing Lyric to do her best in the competition so uh, she can get that top spot. This is a million dollar opportunity, okay? And that's the way you have to look at it. Okay. Oh, princess. You don't have to be sad. Having my mom leave, I mean, I didn't want her to leave. I'm just emotional, so I guess that's why I start crying. Yeah, it's all right. We're gonna miss your mom. I'm gonna miss her too. I'm willing to go home right now to let Mitchell step in. I've given up my job. I've given up my 401k. You're going to win, right? Mm-hmm. Right? I did all this because I believe in my daughter. And it's hard to go home, because I know she wants me to stay here, too. You know, what kid wants their mom to go back home? That's hard. I think the song should tell you guys a story. Period. Honestly, age I was always thinking like, like I love age appropriate songs. That's what I was thinking too. I divided these kids and their managers up into groups to collaborate on a song. A good collaboration on a track can make a career, but sometimes creative differences causes a little tension. So I want to see who can rise above it and who can create a dope ass track. Now this would be the part wherever we just start. Four, one. This should be a verse right here. Yep. So it's eight bars. I was thinking somebody does part of hers. 16. Can't do that. Whatever. No, you can't do 16. Nobody wants to hear 16 bars well, let, open let, up the song. All right, let me finish. Okay. Working with Papa Louie and Precious, it's kind of frustrating. I'm a better manager. So we're on love as a topic, right? Everybody agreed upon as love. As a potential topic. I'm just trying to take the reins and push things through. You know what I mean? We have to get this done. I want to rap about the way I speak and the way I flow. You're just going to show you're a typical rapper. You're not showing any depth. Like, you can write a metaphor that's you, but it's on topic with love. Shane, with some things, he know what he's talking about. But at the same time, what works for Mulatto may not work for Peaches. They're two totally different artists. So him trying to give me advice, keep it to yourself. This is the beat? Yeah. How's it going? What you guys thinking? We already, like, the, the laid back ones in yeah, a whole like house, so I wanted to be I like, yeah, like we still got back. that coolness. We still. Yeah, the hook's gotta be kind of up. I'm teamed up with Young Lyric. It's the first time I'm really collaborating with somebody, so um, I'm excited, man. I'm really open minded to some ideas going into this. So, what y'all gotta do? Y'all gotta do a hook. Oh, I got handed off this collaboration out of nowhere, man. I walk in and I immediately have homework to do. I think the hook, like I was telling them, should be really simplistic, so very radio friendly. Yeah, not yeah, crazy. yeah. I always, I'm a firm believer in less is more. For the challenge, I got stuck with the newbie Mitchell, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to show this guy the ropes. He probably thinks he knows everything. Y'all gonna kind of like be each other's hype man a little, like while he rapping, you know what I'm saying? I was a little apprehensive at first, but so far you seem to be a quick learner. Is it is it all three of them yeah. versus y'all? Well, they gonna need them. <laughs> I love everything about you. I, th I think I found a one for me. me. See how dope that sound? I'm interested to see what Nico and Weird got because we wrote our song tonight and it's dope. I mean, when you got the best writer in the house, what do you expect? Team one, getting it in. Going into rehearsal today, I'm feeling super confident. We got all the lyrics down last night, so all we had to do is just get a little bit of choreo today and I'm gonna smash it. Let's just get the dance steps down. I mean, we'll run through it, but I don't want nobody losing their voices for practice. But remember, practice makes permanent. If this is how they yeah, keep but practicing. I don't, I don't care. In all honesty, I bring everything to the table for this collaboration. I feel like B. Cox, like this is my concoction and you know, we're giving this to JD, so I gotta feel pretty confident about it.
We already know that JD expects you guys to be too shy, too laid back, so we are turning up. Nico, you got your wrap down? Yeah, let's get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am feeling extremely nervous about today's rehearsal because they're both considered to be the laid back kids in the competition. Then I got Young Lyric with me, H Town, Mo. Mo City. Like, I don't know too many. Uh, we messing up, man. That's my bad. That's my bad. All right. good, good, good. I understand you just wrote it. OK, but I'm as manager, I'm just letting you know. Remember your lyrics. They did give us the gold, take off like rockets. Nick, no, no, wait, was that the word? <laughs> this composition is little Nico's second opportunity to be signed by a major label. He cannot blow it in front of JD. That would just destroy the two of us. Got a notebook, take, take a look. Nah, I don't even need the notebook, bro. What's up, what's up, what's up? Today I'm gonna have these kids perform in front of me, my assistant, and Grammy Award winning producer Brian Michael Cox. The performance this week is gonna be huge. So it's gotta be good if I'm gonna put my name on it. It's game time. First up, group one. All right, y'all, let's get it. This rehearsal means everything to me. Lotto did a lot of the writing. I did a lot of the construction of the whole thing. And it's kind of like me on the line. L O V to the E, they say it keeps me free. No rumble while I'm jumping this song, it keeps you jumping. We can ride out in my daddy coupe. I'm talking about just me and you. Hey, I can buy you anything that you want. That's what I'm here to do. I'm talking about if you will. I'm not happy about working with Miss Milano because she's my composition. This is the first time I ever collaborated with somebody, so I wasn't used to like having somebody with me. Y'all made a good song. That's, I just say that that's a positive straight out. It's got a little catchy hook. Everybody's utilized. Wait, 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 what else you think? You look terrified, man. You look terrified up there. What was in your eyes, G? Almost like you wanted to cry. You can't be the weak link. You're performing. You need to come step up here. Rap like right here. Somebody talking, you gotta get right here. I do agree with some things that JD's saying about Little Poopy's performance. Just hope that he can kill it tomorrow. All right, group two, you're up. There was only two of us and three of them, but I don't feel like me and Little Nico was at a disadvantage. JD had us at the bottom, we ain't tripping. Look, we appreciate that. I said, give the Rex and Whoa. I am really listening and paying attention. We about to soak it in and crush the competition. competition. You already know that West Coast is the best coast. coast. Young bosses putting it down, don't come around. I just forgot the whole sound, I put it down like. All of a sudden, Nico's cadence just changed, and he's rapping about stuff that don't have nothing to do with the song. I can tell you're forgetting your lyrics. Don't play yourself, Nico. That shit ain't gonna fly with me. Nico, what's wrong with you missing that verse? There's no excuse for that, you know what I'm saying? I should've came ready, I messed up my verse. I think the pressure of a second chance is starting to get to this kid. He's gotta get over that for tomorrow's performance, or he'll be headed in the wrong direction on this week's hit list. I wasn't gonna tell y'all anything about tomorrow. I was just gonna put y'all out there. But I have to get y'all prepared. Tomorrow, you're performing in a different arena. Y'all's performance will be at a pep rally, surrounded by 900 turned up high school kids. I'm having the kids perform at a high school because students that age is the target audience. Their performance will give me a good assessment of how these kids are developing halfway through this competition. Tomorrow is too real <laughs> With you forgetting your lyrics and you being scared is not gonna work tomorrow. Poopy, if the 900 people say what he said, ain't no need for you to even come back tomorrow. And that go for anybody else this week I'm definitely feeling like somebody should go home. Even though I chose these five kids to mentor, they still gotta pull their own weight. If not, you can step your ass off the train right now. I want y'all to take what I'm telling you, do what you gotta do, and please go rehearse this like y'all doing a concert. Last week, we tested your audience with a focus group. So this is part two. I wanna see how the crowd reacts to you in a live performance. I'm done talking, good luck. I'm a little concerned on how these collaborations will turn out. From what I saw in rehearsal, these kids got a lot to work on, so they better step it up. He was talking a lot of that going home-ish, you know what I mean? So we're gonna need you to bring that heat. Invade that space, Poopy. Feel me? So tomorrow... This is a collaborative assignment, so Poopy, we all gotta kill JD, it. you gotta pull through. I wanna see three and a half minutes of pure beast mode. We're gonna show him something he ain't never seen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> if Nico would have remembered his verse, what could, you really couldn't have nothing negative. Get your lazy booty up. It is Joe Jackson time. <laughs> Work. Number one is what I'm taking. Then that's for the Nico, Nico Nation. Nation. Work. Tomorrow is hella important. We got to show up and show out. So you know you can't stop it. Today's a big day. The kids are performing at Rita Ann High School, so I can see how the crowd reacts to them in a live performance. A lot of great artists came out of this school, including the number one kid artist right now. I brought y'all to this school because I felt like I wanted y'all to see and feel the energy of the kids, and I feel like this school is a breeding ground for talented people like my man Salento. Oh, oh my gosh, it's Salento. I'm super excited to see Salento. I mean, he got the number one song on Billboard right now, so I'm super excited to meet him. What's hey. up? Salento is the boy that song Whip and Nene. Whip and Nene. He gonna take us on a tour of the school. He gonna show us around. He gonna let y'all see what's going on, so. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Salento's hit song, Watch Me, has people all over the country doing the whip and the nay nay. Even your grandma. It's topped the Billboard charts for months. So I brought them here so he could talk to them a little bit about their future. How do you manage to, like, still go to regular school with such more of a bigger schedule now? I was already going to the studio doing music. Now it's just like I have to notify the school when I leave. Knowing that Silento is still in high school and managing his career and schoolwork and knowing that we kind of in the same position, that's pretty dope. And that gives me a lot of motivation. If you write a song, make sure it's like about you. Because once other people find out it's not about you, then it's a wrap. People at the label, you know how that go. They already have their own vision of what they think might work, but we only know. Like, y'all know what y'all people gonna like, y'all age. Y'all know y'all gotta perform today. We gonna get out of this room and get our day started. For kids their age, the pep rallies in Atlanta is the ultimate place to get hype. I'm putting them in front of 900 of their peers, so they better bring it. I'm not nervous because I was really prepared. Like, I'm gonna be number one back to back. They go together, so no, no they, they can't, can't stop it. it. This week is huge, man. I think this is probably the biggest challenge that we've really been um, exposed to yet. I'm kind of nervous because I forgot my lyrics in the performance with JD, so this is where it really, really, really counts. This is kind of like a make or break moment. <laughs> down the stairs right now. I'm going to perform finally. I see JD in the middle of the floor. I see the cheerleaders. I see the, the band. I see everybody. So I'm like, oh man, it's getting real right now. Say what's up, Rita? What's going on? I picked these five kids out of thousands of kids on the internet. Now it's time to see how their collaboration goes down in a live performance. First up, Lil Nico, Young Lyric, y'all up. What's up? Mom, I'm getting nervous now. We're about to perform in front of 900 people, but I'm trying to make sure they don't get the best of me right now. It's to make sure we all around kill the show. Lyrics doing great, man. All I see is football players and cheerleaders jumping up and down, and I'm, I'm like, okay, look, that's that's lyric right there. She got them. Parents definitely all know what they're in for now that I'm here. It's a wrap. I'm in Atlanta, like I just left Atlantic Station. Number one is what I'm saying, and that's where the Nico Nation. Yeah!
Chuck Taylor's and Dickie Pan's pocket. He said that they go together, so no, they can't stop it. It's like, oh, uh, finally they let a pro have it. Nico's interacting with the crowd. He's spitting his verse, and he knows all the words he just wrote. Nico's good with the, the can't forget his lyrics. That's gonna be hard to judge. I'm impressed with Nico's performance because he didn't forget his lines. And Lyric, she came out of her shell. It must be her dad. I feel like I finally saw the lyric that I was seeing online. All right, second group, Miss Mulatto, Poopy, and Super Peach. I've been exposed to a lot of different situations, but being in a room full of that many people, that's definitely new, so I'm like. <sighs> mic check, mic check. Yo, am I sweating? Got my lyrics to my song. This the first time I ever collaborated. I'm used to being by myself, so that's why I messed up. You gotta when you roll in with me. Win that team. Yeah. Now I expected Poopy to be the one out there struggling, but Super Peach, out of all people, she forgets her lines. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, we can ride out in my daddy coupe. I'm talking about just me and you. We definitely came together as a collaboration, especially Poopy, because I see him interact with the other kids. We're not being sent home. I love everything about you, your haircut, your outfit, the way you keep the groupies up about you. And I don't care what she bought you. You can have the world with me, come in find out, yeah. The crowd is going crazy. Mulatto is killing it. She has so much energy. She, like, brung the whole thing up to a whole nother level. I love everything about you. About you. Overall, at today's pep rally, the kids really had everybody turned up. I'm impressed. I'm glad to see Lil Poopy do a lot better than rehearsal. He really made sure to get in these kids' faces. But Super Peach totally forgot the first part of her verse. A crowd this size can be intimidating, but as an artist, can't let that get to you. I want to thank y'all, though. Appreciate it. This week's hit list is going to be tough. Woo! That Kill was crazy, it. guys. And we, we killed it, because I see his it. face, and I know he was feeling it. He was so, so. Yeah. <laughs> Little Nico, young lyric, one man less than the other group, and we still did a better job. Who do you think will come in number one? I think it's gonna be a mulatto. Why you say that? Huh? Why you say that? She probably contributed the most to the group. I think Poopy did. Poopy's the one that had to work with both of them. He wrote two verses. I don't, I don't I'm not agreeing with this, man. She's more advanced in structuring songs than anybody else in our group. Who came up with the idea of writing a love song? I mean, I know who structured the song, so what difference does it make? Was yeah. it because you just want to take credit for this, take credit for that? Because, not, no, I listen, didn't listen. take credit for nothing. You asked me a question. We did. I did. I just answered your question. I think Shay loves his artist very much, but I, I don't know if he realizes that we definitely came together as a collaboration, especially Poopy. You know why I said I felt like she should be number one? Because when we broke it down to the structure of the song and filling out the song, Mulatto at least constructed 60% of her song, if not more. Mulatto is not as perfect as her and her dad thinks that she is. That's unrealistic. Nobody's perfect. When it comes down to that performance, Mulatto's more of a get a little hype when she got to get a little hype. But Mulatto ain't about to guess what, not run around too much or work and work and work, work with the crowd. Mulatto gonna go in. No, Mulatto goes in. be running and going back and forth and Are you moving. crazy? Man, this is you No, man, this is because I'm not gonna let you discredit her. I'm not discrediting her, but guess what? In this house, you discredit Peach all the time. I don't discredit now, her. Now, I, discredit, I discredit you, I don't discredit her. Oh, that's even better. 
I think nothing falls in her. I think everything falls in management if you want to know the truth. There is definitely a line between being a manager and being a momager or a dadager or a sisterger or whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of slick offended. At the end of the day, though, every manager wants their artist to be number one. But we don't have to gun for each other's kids. If you're not gunning for number one, the next person is. I think that this is really, really gonna be the toughest hit list because... But everybody did it. Yeah. We had a conversation last night. I don't really care if any of the parents in the house like me. I'm just saying, I'm definitely gonna say that what I consider a manager, I don't think that they're managers. No, no, I don't. We're here for each other. You know what I mean? It's to share experiences and share situations that you guys been through. Yeah, you can learn from other people, yeah. I, I get what you're saying in that whole factor, right? So who's contradicting me? No, if you got something to say, say it. Well, what do you guys expect to be hunky-dory after yesterday? If you say st certain nasty stuff to somebody and... There was nothing nasty said. When we get into arguments, it ain't about me, it's about Peach. No, it's not. It's what has yes, ever it been is. about her? If we had a conversation and you was like... That's fake to me, dog. You're fake. Everybody stay out the drama. Don't worry about who got beef with who. You don't worry about who got beef with who. Thing is best, just don't say anything. The tension in the house today is at an all-time high. It's just getting really heated. All the kids are gonna bring their A-game. And as managers, we've gotta play our part. At the end of the day, it's a competition. Hello? Yo, yo. Yo. What's going on, what's going on? What's up? What's wrong? Because everybody's energy is kind of funky right now. So I came to the house to deliver the hit list, but I see it's a lot of tension in the house. We gonna have to air this out. I wanna hear what's going on. What's creating the argument? What is making To me, I think I perceived tense. it wrong is when he said that he, his daughter did 60% of the work. Hold up. All right, so, Malala, let me see what you, what, what, what's your take on this? I feel like um, people just got offended by the truth. Um, I'm obviously the strongest writer, and I feel like they are not the strongest writers, which is OK. I don't think Miss Mulatto did 60% um, of our performance because she did her part, but she didn't do everything. OK, so what's the bigger problem? Well, ain't on the table, man. It's not a beating around the bush. No, this is, this is just straight, direct. Um, nobody seemed like they knew song structure. Mulatto counted the beat out with everybody. What? I'm just, mm -mm. OK, like I said, Mulatto counted the beat out with everybody, showed them how the bars go 16, 16, 8, 4, bridge, all that. She arranged it. The music industry is not based on emotions. I mean, music's based on emotions. I feel like I'm in a house with four people who don't really do this in reality. I don't care what happened. I told y'all to be prepared for a show. It doesn't matter who did 60 to 70%, because when you're in a group, if one person does bad, everybody looks bad. Like, if you're gonna come back in here and talk, that's what y'all should be talking about. If you don't feel like they did nothing, then her 60% don't mean And she done done better than this, but it was just... I have reached my breaking point with Shane. I'm just getting thrown under the bus. It's only so much a person can take. I'm gonna go back and reevaluate my, my hit list. I want y'all to lose this black cloud that's over here, so I'm not Please. gonna do the hit list today. I'm gonna wait. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna make y'all wait. Cause y'all f***ed it up. Wait. I was looking for a collaboration to see if everybody could set their egos to the side and make a great show. The parents, they didn't do well. I had my hit list made up this week based on how the kids perform, but these parents and their actions, not acceptable. I'm gonna have to think a lot about this hit list. And we gonna see what happens when I get back. Don't take nothing personal. No, bro. Not having the hit list today, I mean, it really pissed me off. Like, we're dealing with some because people don't know how to do their jobs. Let's get to work, dog. OK, Shane, whatever you do today is affecting Peach. I hope that JD doesn't let that go into play on the hit list. So it sucks that it has to be like this with so much tension right now, because yesterday was it kind of just got super real. It was just like a mix of emotions. The whole conversation in general, I think it kind of made the situation worse, to be honest. It was a crazy day. Yesterday, JD came in. We all discussed like how everybody did, how the kids performed. I am worried it might affect Mulatto's position at this week's hit list. Hey! Oh, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Hey. What's up? I came to the house yesterday to deliver the hit list, only to find the parents arguing about who did this and who did that. Who the f 
cares? It's about collaborating. It's not about the individual person. I took what they said into consideration, and today I'm doing my revised hit list. Y'all know y'all made me postpone the hit list. Y'all bickering and all of that made me reevaluate the hit list, and I changed the couple things. This week's hit list was based on your performance at the pep rally and how you collaborated with your group. Let's get right into it. This week's hit list looks like this. So, as you see, there's no number five. Does that mean somebody's going home? I told you, if everybody didn't step up, somebody was going home. So now we about to see about that. This week's hit list for collaboration at number four is... Super Peach. It is so hard to maintain that number one spot because you have the parents in the house trying to get you off your game. I'm most definitely blaming Shane this week. The reason that you are at number four is because you missed your lyrics and you are not to let nobody throw you off from what you're supposed to be doing. And Precious, this week's challenge is about teamwork. So you fighting with Shane, that don't help Peach. If that wouldn't have happened, my choice would have been to put you at three. So at number three is... No one's going home this week. It's a tie. After seeing how hard you kids worked this week and your performances, I decided to let everybody stay. I'm glad that we're not going home, but I'm definitely upset that Poopy's number three and we're sharing a place on the hit list, which has never happened before. Y'all both tied because you both stayed in the same composure and didn't break out of your mode. I think Poopy, for me, at rehearsal, I said, if you ain't get more involved with the crowd, I was sending you home. I seen you, I was sitting on the bleachers and you came over there by the girls and you were smacking their hands and you was looking them dead in their face. That was my one proud moment of you. You look like you really wanted to stay in this competition. What I'm most proud of is interacting with the crowd. In this moment, I feel like I did good, I did great. And then Lyric, you really turned up. You got the whole football team involved. You got the crowd involved. You definitely stepped out of your shell. I do believe you having your father here, Lyric, might have helped you do that performance the way you did it. Lyric has gone from number four to number three. She was happy to move up. But now that I'm here, we're going for the number one spot. So these last two, which, which, uh, which one y'all believe it is? We already know what Shane thinks, but <laughs> come on. I do not think Mulata deserves to be number one. The reason why we have so much tension in, in the house is based off of Shane. Well, Nico. If you stop playing, you might just beat everybody. If you stop playing, I know it's something in you that wants to come out. Lil Nico's gonna get the number one spot this week because we haven't gotten it yet. I know he wants this. This week at number two on my hit list is... Miss Mulatto. We get to number two, it's Miss Mulatto. I mean, it was a rough week, but I really thought we had a chance at number one. If you have to say somebody was the leader of the group, I felt like you performed like the leader of the group. I do believe that you structured the song, but your dad getting into it with Precious Peach is unacceptable. And that's what's keeping you from the top spot this week. Being number two is not my thing. I felt like I should have been number one. Next week will definitely be a whole different situation. But, you know, things go how they go. So, number one on this week's hit list is obviously Lil Nico. <laughs> Finally, your boy is number one, man. I think it's very huge for me to be number one at week five because, you know, it's only a few weeks left, so to finally be number one, it's a really good feeling, man. All right, so, Nico, you won this week for well, two main reasons. You messed up in rehearsal, and I was really scared that you was gonna do it again. And I was like, this boy come out here and try to freestyle in front of these kids, and <laughs> it's getting ready to be terrible. So you didn't do that. He said, number one is what I'm saying. And then that's what the Nico Nation. You came over here and you did the whip. And it ain't had nothing to do with the song or the <laughs> whole show. And you start dancing with the crowd. And I was like, this the same dude that keeps saying he don't dance. All right, so have fun tonight. But next week, I'm going to mix this up on y'all. All right, let's go. I'm very disappointed with how the managers acted this week, because ultimately, the kids suffer, both on and off the hit list. Next week, they better have their together, or somebody's going home for real. I ain't playing. It's 
took forever for the top two, though, yo. I was kind of thinking I was going to come in there in tubes, and I was like, all right, cool. Now, I just got to stay there. I can definitely tell it's getting a little more intense in the house. So I think the, the heat is definitely on, but I'm just making sure I stay focused. I need you to come upstairs with me. Come on. I'm annoyed, like, by the negativity, but, I mean, I know that there's no friends in the game. At the end of the day, we're still competition. When it comes to that performance and he judging you individually, you got to make sure that you on your P's and Q's. The tension is still here, but my sister is keeping me positive. As soon as you make a mistake, it's easy for you to drop. Put your number on the board. I can tolerate anybody. Mulatto and Shane, they can jump off a clip. I don't care what they do. Me and Super Peach are just pushing to be number one next week. Next time on The Rap Game. Jermaine asked me to change things up a little bit. Managers, you won't be with your artists. I am petrified. Tell me about your client, Shane. Like, I'm going into a meeting representing somebody, and I don't know who you are. She... Are y'all cool? When we're in the marketing meeting, instead of you talking to Nico, you were worried about Super Peach, and all I'm saying is it should be fair across the board. Life isn't fair.